as more and more foreigners come to Shenzhen, they will find that there are breads of many flavors, like uh, Italian, French, German, British, Japanese. Shenzhen is becoming more and more international, and so are breads. My name is Sim. I was sent here from Singapore by an oil company and I came to Sheko in 1988 with the oil industry. When I opened a coffee shop in 2004, four years after I opened the coffee shop, I started making bread. I started making the baguette and I came, I came across many formulas that were no, not really good. And uh, finally I found one from uh, Paris Baguette Champion and uh, later I went to Paris and I tried to get his bread. Later on when I made the bread here, I had the French community, it was a large French community here that uh, tried my bread and when they approved of it, it was when I said, my baguette is okay. <laughs> the, uh, the Westerners liked it, but not the Chinese because it's uh, not sweet and uh, no fats and it was not acceptable to the Chinese. But today, many Chinese are health conscious and they know good clean bread, clean in the sense less, no additives. Nowadays, many Chinese understand and so they're starting to like this hard Western bread. I love Shenzhen when I first came here in 88 and I didn't want to leave so uh, that's the reason I opened up the shop and uh, the changes was fantastic. It was a small fishing village when I came. Not a single high rise except for the Nan Hai Hotel but today it's amazing, it's amazing. So many tall buildings everywhere. Although I'm older now in this dynamic city of Shenzhen As more and more foreigners come to Shenzhen, they will find that there are breads of many flavors like uh, Italian, French, German, British, Japanese. Shenzhen is becoming more and more international and so are breads. I'm still full of energy and innovation when it comes to bread. At present, I still research some new varieties according to the needs of customers such as gluten-free bread for diabetics and naturally flavoured bread with South Asian flavour. In the future, if possible, I would like to open more branches so that more people can eat bread that are full of harmful additives in Shenzhen. <laughs>